Joining me pitch side here at the Attis Arena is Phil Brown. Uh, in many ways, a difficult one to take that in the end. Yeah, in many ways, it was um, you know it was billed as a top versus second uh, classic encounter at this level, and, and uh, getting to half time at uh, nil nil scoreline, you think you've got a foothold in the game. They were strong. Don't get me wrong; they're a good team. There's no doubt about it. In this level, uh, they're playing a certain way, and it's it's admirable because they do it efficiently. They do it well. Um, and I thought we were dealing with it and the moment that the first goal went in that was the moment I thought where I think one or two of the players lost a little bit of belief and I can't have that you know I can't I can't accept that in the camp um, a game is 90 minutes long if not if, if not longer as it proved today 97 minutes long um, but we had lost that belief and when it went to 2-0 throwing caution to the wind is not what I'm talking about throwing caution to the wind is uh, we're two 0 down. We've got nothing to, nothing to lose now. Uh, I don't want that type of football. I, I, I kid him so I want to take a footballer that believes he goes into a game with a game plan, and we stick to that game plan. And that game plan is a winning game plan unless otherwise engaged by a manager. And we changed. We tried to match them up when they went two 0 up, and actually got more joy uh, taking off one or two of our better players. And, you know, at times you, you, you mesmerise yourself, you know, by making substitutions like putting Reese McNally on as a right hand side centre back and taking Maz Kuya off, who scored three goals in five games. But it was one of them nights for Maz, it was one of them nights for Seb. It was, it was just a huff and puff performance. And then all of a sudden we matched them up and got better chances that came along and better opportunities. But to get a foothold in the game, we had to get that first goal. And I thought, the Reese McNally had a 90 minutes on the clock, might have been too late, but the Reese McNally had it from the corner. That's the moment where you get 2 1, and then it's, the place goes belly up. Uh, and you get, a, you get an opportunity to get a point out of the game. And if you come here tonight and come away with a point, it's a great point. They're a good side, Scunthorpe will be there or thereabouts, no doubt. About 5,000 turn up tonight. Uh, I'm disappointed for the couple of hundred Kidderminster Harriers fans, to be brutally honest, because we haven't really showed up tonight. The team that I know didn't really show up tonight. Yeah, there seemed to be a little bit more creativity from the likes of Clune and very vastly experienced at this level. And it seemed to they seemed to burst through midfield perhaps a little bit too easily. Would you agree with that? At 1-0, I thought they played counter-attacking football very effectively. At 2-0, they certainly played counter-attacking football. There wasn't any real need to go and over-commit. Uh, when the ball went up to the big number nine, um, he was a, a nuisance, he was a pain. But Hold on a second, we're two centre halves. If they don't think it's going to be like that week in and week out, they've got another thing coming. It's what it is, you know. You play against big strikers week in and week out, which we have done. Um, and in the main, the, the two centre halves have dealt with it. Tonight it was a difficult, it was a difficult deal. Uh, and I don't think we readily cope with that ball, either putting enough pressure on the three centre halves, putting the ball into the striker, or dealing with the, the ball into the striker when it did arrive. So with that in mind, if, if, if you're not going to deal with that kind of football, then you're going to be in trouble. And you've got to mix it up at this level. We see it week in, week out in the National League. We, you know, we might have a plan B, a plan C, a plan D, but I, I certainly looked at, at the team tonight and without the club captain, uh, that's the first time I've thought we've suffered. And don't get me wrong, he's, he's out with concussion, there's nothing I can do about that, but that's the first time I think we, we've actually looked almost like a huff and a puff team, not a creative team. Uh, when you lose that physical prowess in, in Amari Morgan Smith, um, listen, I haven't got it so I can't deal with it, you know. And at the same time, we thrown a young lad up, up front, uh, he's pulled his hamstring, and he came off after 60 minutes in the first game. See you later. And then obviously, Seb, Seb's answered the, uh, the war cry, shall we call it, but he's 19 year old, you know. It's young lads replacing a man. Um, had he scored, he had a great chance early in the match. Very first minute of the game, or the first opportunity, and he's pulled the neck off it, which just shows what he is. He's only a young lad. I'm not, I'm not going to blame Sir Thompson for the result by any stretch of the imagination. But you go one nil up and you silence five thousand. All of a sudden, it's a different argument. Uh, but we didn't. Yeah, I mean, you got to bounce back. Quick and did it. You know, you fell to a defeat at Warrington. Bounced back with a comprehensive victory. Chester, another team likely to be there or thereabouts. I would have thought in the National League and also yeah, have you got irons in the fire to perhaps rectify that lack of physical presence up front? Um, there is one or two irons in the fire and I'm sure um, there'll be one or two 
requesting it, you know, and, and saying that we should be playing with a, a big number nine. Uh, but we haven't got a big number nine at the moment. We're going to play in a certain way until we do get a big number nine, and that'll be Amari Morgan Smith coming back, I would imagine. Um, but no, it's not doom and gloom, it's not over and done with by any stretch of the imagination. We've had a good start of the season. But we've just come here tonight and had a lesson in National League North football. Yeah, I mean, they took the chances really well when, when they came back. I thought it was, as you said, bits and pieces in the first half. They did take the goals well, um, but other than that, you know, you had chances of your own. They took their goals well, we didn't take our chances at all. Um, and we can cry about that if you want to cry about it, but I, I ain't. It's not back to the drone board by any stretch of the imagination. You know? um, I think I've got a good team, uh, but we've just got to come to places like Scunthorpe and make sure we turn up.